Well, this is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 6 of the Orc Gunwagon tutorial. Uh, first, let's clear up some issues I had last time. Uh, one of them was I didn't chamfer these edges, so let's do that. And uh, delete this polygon because it screws up. I hit border, and then cap it, which will fix it. And uh, the other issue I had was up here. These vertices actually aren't together, so just scale them outward. And you can see they're not actually connected, so I go to polygon mode, delete that face, and delete that face. Then grab the uh, verts again, uh, scale them back, hit weld, and now they're welded together. Oh, now we can continue. First off, we have to make this a bit smaller, so go into your top view, and let's first drag this back a bit, and then drag that inward, and drag this inward, drag the entire thing, and line it up so it's just a little bit to the left of that line. Okay, go back into perspective, three. Okay, uh, now let's add the uh, bolts to this, the corners of that, so run your max script, set selection as source, pick distribution 1, rivet, and uh, just place 4 rivets. Okay, and close that now. Uh, now for the smokestacks. Um, you're going to want a cylinder, make sure you're on auto grid. Just create a cylinder here. And go into the top view. Press F3 so you can see better. Bring it over a bit and up just so it's kind of even. Change these sides to 40 so it's kind of smooth. And then you're going to want to actually, before we do that, um, we have to get this polygon and extrude it by about four. Um, select the edges and chamfer them. Okay, now we can continue on. So I've actually already recorded this one and my computer crashed. I'm doing it again. So bring that up a bit and actually uh, bring the height segments down to one or zero, sorry. Get this polygon, bevel it, bring it up, and bring it kind of in. And then just bring it down so it slightly touches. Okay. And so we can get that effect of there's like a ring around there or something. And also, select the edges, press connect uh, twice, pinch them so they kind of close, slide them down a bit to about negative 1,846. Um, select the polygons that are just inside those edges, and you're going to want to do a small bevel on the local normal, just to give it a uh, ring kind of shape. Okay, go here, uh, select the polygon, viewport, and just drag it up quite a bit to about level with that. Because you can't do it the exact same height because uh, the perspective messes it up. Um, and uh, next we're going to have to. Uh, Select these edges, chamfer them, pretty small amount, about 0.2. Uh, select this polygon here, inset by about 0.4, extrude by about 0.5, inset, and then uh, scale it back out so it's about the same height that it was. Uh, bevel that, except make the outline amount. Uh, 0.06 positive this time. 
uh, extrude by about uh, two, bevel it, this time do it inward again, height of about 0.26, outline about, about outline about negative uh, 0.24, and then you're going to want to say inset, okay, get a small bevel, extrude. About three point nine, I'd say. Actually, use the grow button to select all that and shrink that a bit. It's kind of big. Okay. Um, I get this polygon again. Bevel it outward. So about outline amount of point three one. Uh, inset it and scale the inset out. Okay, bevel it outward again. Uh, extrude by about 2.5. Okay, bevel inward again, about negative 0.27 for the outline. And next, create a cylinder right here. Bring it up. And we're going to have to make that bigger. So grab this again, uh, use the grow tool to make that bigger, and scale it on the XY uh, axis. And grab this polygon again. It cooperates. Okay, uh, drag it out a bit. Actually, decrease the radius drag it back in. Now go into the uh, hierarchy tab, effect pivot only, hit align and hit the smokestack, XYZ, pivot point to pivot point. Okay. Now go into rotate mode, make sure angle snap is on, while holding, oops, make sure you select that. Oh. Um, effect to this pivot only, align it to that object, uh, and the XYZ, deselect that, then go into rotate mode, and with angle snap on, hold shift, rotate it 90 degrees, and make the number of copies 3, so that way you get these bar things around it. Um, next, we're going to want to give it a small inset, uh, that much. And uh, we're going to want to extrude. Actually, let's give another inset about 0 0.4, uh, 0.55. Hit edge and select the edges there. Hit ring, control, and hit go into polygon mode and extrude these upward uh, quite a bit okay then using the hinge from edge feature uh, hit pick hinge pick just kind of a hinge over there make the angle about 38 segments about 6 segments uh, extrude a little bit more okay um that's good. Then rotate that down a bit and move it just a bit back. And lastly you're gonna want to select the edges on the outside and give them a chamfer. Make it so that they're just about even with each other. Actually, like this. And that looks pretty good. Okay, that's our smokestack. Um, I'll see you in part 7.